So at the end of the 20th century, we have problems. I don't know which one is right. Either one may be right. Is a mix right? Are we supposed to buy societies? Or are we supposed to kind of be abhorred with this thing? And say, well, this culture actually is, is the wrong kind of culture. Is it going to be a mix? How is architecture going to happen? And this is only the Chinese way of thinking. Because if you look at the last 8,000 years and the way people dealt with their life, there are many, many different ways in which you can build up a culture. And you can at least distinguish five. We, of course, are very used to Western scientific thinking. Other people are very, very used to Judeo-Christian thinking. Then we have Chinese thinking, which is completely different than the thinking in India. And all of those are completely different from the thinking of, for instance, the American Indian societies. All the people that are very, very close to nature. And so in the last 8,000 years, when nothing changed, which is of course saying it very, very bluntly, but when we had very, very little change, what you saw in these really thin, eerie, tiny biosphere is that we came up with, with certain patterns of behavior to solve the existential problems that we all share, which as you know are the relationship that people have with nature, that you and I have with nature, the relationship that we have with other people, and the relationship that we have with the higher, with the mysterious, with the religious. And all these different people in this really tiny little thing actually came up with five, at least five different patterns or strategies to solve this problem. And now at the end of the 20th century, they converge. Actually, they call it reconciliation. But what converges? How the hell are we supposed to know about these things? How are we going to integrate these things? So what I would like to show you now is a piece, two pieces of Koyanus Katsi, 